What's going on, y'all? It's Joe, and I'm back with a little update on the truck and a story on how I got into modeling and some shop cards. We'll start off with how I got into modeling. I'd always liked cars, and I'd always wanted to build one, though, and I started one when I was, like, eight or nine and never really f finished. I glue bomb parts and all that. But, I mean, mainly I started after, because I'm a skateboarder, that's what I mainly do when, when I'm not building models, I skate and whatever, so I busted, broke my jaw, had to get seven stitches in my chin earlier this year in September, so instead of, I got in the modeling in because I finally had the opportunity to try it. And I like it, I mean, honest, to be honest, I like it just as much as skating, if not a little more, because I don't have to worry about breaking bones. So, yeah, and that's how I got into it, and next on, I got in a shop card today from the county model shop. Thank you, Monty, for this one. It's a really cool car. card, and I like that car on there. Is that a, yeah, that's a... It's a Charger. I couldn't tell if it was Charger or Challenger. I knew it was a Dodge. I didn't want to say the wrong thing, but yeah, those Dodges are sweet looking rides. Anyways, and yeah, here's, well, this was like my second build ever, the Camaro. And it's okay. I did run into a lot of issues with it, even just fitting the thing together. I had to cut away some of the fender inside or you can kind of see it but yeah it, it looks okay it's definitely not what i would call anywhere near show quality at all i mean it, it works for a good one i was happy with it and it and it's going, going to be what's going on the trailer it's going to be here's the start of the car haul or whatever trailer that I'm put behind the Silverado got that got the little axles there's the frame probably just paint it all black is what I'm most likely gonna do but yeah that's that and I'm putting on the actual the tires from the 99 Ravel kit, the Silverado kit, the tires, and that's what I'm going to be using on the trailer. And I'm not done with it yet. I still got to put on the um, fenders and everything. And yeah, I'm trying to not shake my phone around while I film this. So. Do some white out on the wheel or tires to give it that kind of look that some of them had. But, yeah, and I did get the block, the Vortec done. I didn't, got that done. Got the block done. Yep, so that's all ready to go. And I got the chassis painted over there. See that? Yeah, that's some. Well, I'll just go back and give you all a look of the Camaro. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, really. From a distance, it looks really nice. From up close, it's a little, eh, at least for my standards. Take that hood up, off and try not to knock everything off the table. Spin around. There, yeah. Get my arm out of the way.
But yeah, this is what's, I'm either going to put this one or probably build another, I'm considering maybe building the old, an Oldsmobile or the, the Hearst one that Rebel has after this. But yeah, right now it's thinking about putting this one on the trailer. So yeah, hope you all had a nice weekend. Peace.